A Southeast Iowa swimmer missing for four days was found dead on Thursday afternoon. We're now hearing from law enforcement about the discovery of the Ottumwa man who went missing in the Des Moines River Sunday evening. KTVO Sean Redfield spoke to local authorities about the technology used to help locate the body. Ottumwa fire and I uh, swear on the river yesterday, continuing the search for the missing swimmer and uh, Ottumwa fire had located uh, the individual. Earlier this week, the Wapolo County Sheriff's Department announced they were searching for a missing Ottumwa man who was last seen swimming in the Des Moines River near the Highway 34 overpass bridge next to Ottumwa's JBS plant. On Thursday, law enforcement confirmed they had discovered 36-year-old Skiller Amo of Ottumwa. Amo was found just south of the Ottumwa Water Pollution Facility and was pronounced dead. Wapolo County Sheriff Don Phillips highlighted the technology used in the efforts to locate the victim. Ottumwa fire uh, and us um, went in together and bought a, a side sonar. Uh, so basically, we're, it, it enab enables us to be able to look uh, underwater, you know, for images of a person. Basically what we did is, you know, where the individual was last seen by witnesses, we kept going up and down the river um, within, oh, probably a quarter mile of that just to try and, and locate him, see if we could see him. Phillips urges people to avoid swimming in the river, particularly during this time of the year when the current can be unpredictable and make it difficult to reach dry land. Kind of encourage people not to not to swim in the river, in the Des Moines River here around Ottumwa and Wapolo County, just especially right now with the, the currents really moving because they got several gates open uh, at the hydro, you know, it, uh, really makes that current flow and that's kind of what happened with this individual according to eyewitnesses he when he jumped in it, they said it looked like the current was taking him and he wasn't able to swim back to shore. Phillips stated that the sheriff's department does not suspect foul play but Amos body was sent to the state examiner for an autopsy.